Hello, my name is Shane Farley with DeAndre and Partners Legal Counsel Chongqing Office. And today I'll be going through a how-to guide in investing in the Guizhou business environment. Now, this video is part of a series of videos which we're doing, which focuses on the southwest of China. Basically speaking, it outlines some important facts about the region as well as some information which potential foreign investors should be aware of within the environment. So firstly, we'll have a broad overview of the business environment of Guizhou and then look at some of the specific advantages which existing investors have already taken, taken uh, advantage of or rather uh, within Guizhou and some of the national initiatives which are seeking to entice further foreign investors within the province. Then, similar to, again, our previous videos, we'll look at how foreign investors are currently uh, situated within Guizhou, where the investments are coming from in terms of which countries and regions, as well as specifically which cities within the province are most foreign investor friendly. And then as per our previous videos, we'll just touch upon some main aspects of note that investors should be aware of and some challenges that they may find within the business environment. So for anyone who's not already aware of the southwestern province of Guizhou, of course, it is one of the uh, larger provinces in China, equivalent to the size of uh, Uruguay, we'll say, and of course, with uh, a province that size, also has quite a large population, nearly 40 million. Now, when we speak about the GDP growth of Guizhou, although it's starting off at a lower base level uh, than that of previous uh, regions we've speak, spoken about, in the southwest before, for example, Sichuan and the municipality of Chongqing. However, its growth is right up there, competing with the fastest growing in the country. We see just last year, even 2021, there was significant growth in Guizhou of 8.1. So this is still within the southwest, an area of tremendous uh, growth in recent years which, of course, investors should be well aware of. So in terms of its capital city of Guayan, traditionally, this has been an area of more manufacturing and really uh, it's the primary industries. However, in recent years, we'll say in the last uh, decade or seven years, uh, there's been a real push towards uh, the services sector, more specifically in big data and internet services. Uh, this is something that we're really gonna highlight in some future slides, so just to keep this in mind for now. As I mentioned before, in terms of GDP, it is uh, growing uh, quite significantly in Guizhou in the last, let's say, 10 years, I believe in catching up with some of the other areas in the Southwest. And the central government is really pushing on a number of different uh, aspects of the Guizhou economy with property alleviation, bolstering up a rural economy there. So it's really trying to modernize uh, Guizhou in the last uh, few years. Uh, this has been a real reality in terms of the digital economy of Guizhou. And again, this is related to what we spoke about with uh, big data, which is something that Guizhou is really focusing on in the last decade or so. So again, institutional advantages and national initiatives within Guizhou, similar to that of the municipality of Chongqing, as well as the province of Sichuan, all the neighboring Southwestern regions, they're all part of the Belt and Road Initiative, of course, with uh, Guizhou as well as Sichuan and Chongqing, all connected to Europe 
through the China European uh, freight train. So this really facilitates uh, logistics, imports, exports between China and Europe, as well as uh, Asian countries, as well as uh, Guiyang, specifically the capital of Guizhou, does facilitate uh, transportation between the southwestern regions and the Chengdu Chongqing Economic Circle, which again, if you're more interested in uh, Chengdu, Sichuan, and Chongqing, I recommend you check out our other videos on those specific topics, especially the economic circle. Um, as well as getting back to Guizhou and Guiyang in particular, the Belt and Road Initiative for Guizhou uh, does greatly facilitate uh, the Chengdu Chongqing Economic Circle and its connectivity to the Greater Bay Area, as well as these Asian countries, which are all along the uh, Belt and Road Initiative, connecting China to the world. Um, as well with China's Western Development Initiative, there are a multitude of infrastructural investments over the last 20 years, uh, subsidies for certain industries investing in the Southwest, and we'll say policies related to the retention of talents in the region. Now, again, this is a, these are all aspects which have been prevalent in Southwestern uh, regions that we've done previous videos on. So this information for other, uh, for other regions are more or less similar. We'll see in the Yangtze River Economic Belt, which was also a part of this initiative, again, facilitating domestic trade and transportation within China. However, a notable uh, new aspect uh, which Guizhou introduces is acting as a national data and comprehensive pilot zone. Now, when acting as this data pilot zone, not only in terms of Southwestern, but China-wide, Weizhou is one of the leaders in the big data industry. It has attracted, attracted a lot of large national and international companies to set up their regional headquarters within Weizhou with data centers, as well as servers being spread throughout Weizhou over the last decade or so, and huge amounts of investment in the last few years, and this investment only increasing in the years to come. There's a huge plan in terms of the development of the big data industry within Weizhou, which, uh, again, is something that I think we have some figures here moving on a bit further, but firstly, let's look at the foreign investment situation within Guizhou. So as uh, I'm sure you've already assumed, Guiyang, the capital city, is one of the top uh, locations of foreign investors within Guizhou. However, there are other uh, say bordering uh, kind of low second and low third cities in terms of other areas for foreign investors. However, we'll see where this investment is coming from, America, Japan, Hong Kong, the usual uh, foreign investors within the southwestern regions as we've seen in previous videos. However, a notable, another notable aspect we'll see that most of the industries that foreign investors are investing in, which are software related and uh, tech related and of course uh, coinciding with this big data push we're seeing in the last decade so in spite of uh, natural resources such as uh, gas water electricity and all coincide with this huge push towards data centers servers which are really propping up the digital economy of which so rounding it all off with these main aspects of no and some potential challenges within Guizhou. So essentially, Guizhou is acting as China's big data valley with already a large number of data centers for key players within the big data uh, industry in operation or under construction 
in Guangzhou. There are a lot of, uh, say, 4 million servers already present within Guizhou, uh, with huge investment in the last decade, already providing for incredible growth opportunities in big data in Guizhou, and only further plans which will prop up this industry within Guizhou, and of course, coinciding with Guizhou being propped up alongside. Of course, Guizhou is known as uh, having a very convenient transportation network with all encompassing uh, aspects, highways, uh, rail, waterways, aviation. So this is, again, all for, in relation to the Yangtze River Delta, uh, sorry, the Yangtze River uh, Development Plan that we talked about in previous slides, as well as the Belt and Road Initiative. This is all coinciding with how Guizhou is well connected, not only domestically, but internationally, of course, as well. There are, in terms of outside of big data, uh, information technology industry, internet services industries, this is really the push that uh, Guizhou, that the wave is rising um, in the last decade or so. So for potential investors who aren't within these specific industries or related industries, there could be some, let's say, difficulties in really um, finding Guizhou as their ultimate uh, destination for investments. This is just something to keep in note. In terms, getting back to, let's say, big data and servers and the internet industry, Guizhou is also a big part in one of the new uh, national initiatives which have been announced, the Eastern Data and Western Computing, where uh, Guizhou has been selected as one of the country's computing hubs with, uh, of course, large amounts of investment in terms of further data centers and uh, servers to come in the near future. So again, big data being the key uh, industry and term to take away from this uh, province. So in terms of investment and development, of course, in Guizhou, investors will find abundance of energy resources and huge potential for growth in terms of the digital economy and all the related uh, industries within. So this is really what foreign investors in Guizhou should expect now and in the future. In terms of GDP, as we mentioned before, Guizhou is a growing uh, region in terms of GDP, although starting at a lower base level in regards to other areas within the Southwest. Although for 10 consecutive years until 2020, it had uh, near consistent double uh, digit growth. So it's really been an area of development in the last 10 or so years. And it seems um, coinciding with all these national initiatives and push towards the digital economy to be growing further in the future as well. In terms of preferential policies, foreign investors should be aware that, of course, with all these um, national initiatives, such as the Western Development Initiatives, these are, um, these are, let's say, already existing initiatives which make the Southwest and Western regions more attractive. However, with uh, this real push for of the digital economy, and um, as well as the convenience of transportation connecting to other areas around China, Guizhou is really placing itself as an area to invest, not only for now, but for the future and the future industries, which uh, it may assist. Now, again, a lot of these aspects we've touched upon within our practical guide, Invest in China, the Southwest. Now, this is available, of course, for all of our clients, all of our friends, from our offices, 
but also available on all ebook sites such as Amazon. Now, within this practical guide, we outline a lot of the legal considerations, taxation, labor law, and cultural peculiarities of the Southwest, inclusive of the province of Guizhou and the other regions within our previous videos, as well as within some of our future videos. So keep in mind the practical guide, and we will be releasing more videos promoting the Southwest, investing in the Southwest, and giving more insights into what to expect. If you're a foreign investor looking at the Southwest, if you're already existing investor in the Southwest, but you want to know the specificities of certain aspects of investing in whether Sichuan, Guizhou, Yunnan, Chongqing, this is the uh, this is the content that we're really uh, to develop and share with you all. So, in addition to DeAndre and our North Legal Council, we also have our three other business services country uh, companies, rather PHC Advisory Tax and Accounting for auditing, accountancy services, of course, assisting all aspects of financial. Uh, Advisory, of course, ESAN communication and events, marketing services, services, social media management, as well as event management, and chance and better education. This is uh, our newest business service company in terms of assisting our clients with uh, internships, university applications to a multitude of high end universities around the world and uh, language training as well. So if you'd like to know more information, please feel free to contact us. My name has been Shane Farley with the Andrew and Partners Legal Council Chongqing office. So thank you for your time. I'll see you in the next video. I hope this video has been beneficial to you in terms of either your existing investment or your potential future investment within Guizhou. Be sure to check out our other videos as part of the Invest in Southwest series, such as the Chongqing Municipality, how to invest in, as well as how to invest in the province of Sichuan. If you wish to know further information about our firm, our services, or investing within these regions, be sure to reach out to us via our email addresses or through any of our social media accounts. Thank you for your time.